Good morning. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, the Apostle Paul is writing to this Thessalonican church, and he says this in verse 3, we're bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet because you're, that your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. Paul says, we thank God for you just constantly. And he said it's meet or right or fitting that we do this because what we can see and what we can hear about is the fact that as a church, there are some things that are growing in that church. One of them is your faith. It is growing exceedingly, he says. What does that mean? Well, it means that they went from believing on Jesus Christ to be saved to becoming a church that's filled with faithful people who are growing in their walk with God. They're growing closer and closer to Jesus day by day, and their faith is growing. You know what that means? That means they're studying the Word of God, because faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, Romans 10, 17. So they are a growing church, and what's growing is their faith. He also says that the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. They're loving each other. They are growing close. This is the strongest bond that there is, a love that's forged by the Holy Spirit of God. So their faith is growing and their love is growing. Paul goes on in that chapter and in verse 11 he says, wherefore also we pray always for you. So he says in verse three, we thank God always for you. And he says, we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. God has a plan for this church. God has a plan for every church. And if the people in that church are, are growing in their faith and growing in their love, God's going to increase the power to carry out his calling for that church. Man, that's what I want. I wanna be a part of a church like that. He says, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's the whole point. What is the point of a growing church? Well, it's to bring glory and honor to Jesus. Well, what is the point of a loving church? It's to bring glory and honor to Jesus. That's why we're here. We were created with a purpose and that purpose is to glorify God in all that we do. That's why our churches exist, is to bring glory and honor to God, to bring the glory of Jesus Christ into this world, to live in this world, not being of this world, and to glorify Jesus. And so it takes faith, it takes love to do that. And so Paul says, we thank God for you because we see this and we are constantly praying for you that you would continue to grow in these things. And the way that he says that is he says that our God would count you worthy of this calling. God has called every church to this, but not every church is willing to grow into what God has for them. Some of them get sidetracked. Some of them are fussing and fighting, or they come up with all the wrong goals. Instead of wanting to bring glory and honor to Jesus and grow in faith and love, they come up with different goals different ungodly goals, worldly goals. They wanna uh, look more like a business than, than the church. And when that happens, well, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna live up to the calling that God has for them. But that's what Paul's praying for, that they will, that they will walk in his good pleasure and that that work of faith that is, he's doing in them, that it would be powerful in all the world. I just wanna encourage you this morning, if you will grow in your faith and in your love to let it abound to the people of your church, you'll see a church that's walking in power and fulfilling the mission that Jesus has for it and bringing glory and honor to Jesus in the process. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.